Hi, so we're, uh, we're here with uh, Caitlin Aurelia Smith in Leeds. Hello. Um, talking about uh, the tour, musical approaches, what you're using, because this is geeky modular stuff. Yeah. Um, so, first of all, what's your approach to, I guess, cur the current set of music that you're playing on this sort of tour? Well, that's a big question. Can you break it down into Yeah, okay. So, sections? what if, if, the, if someone's completely new, to, new to you and your music and performances, how would you describe what you do? What would gotcha. they expect? Um, I play modular synthesizer. I play a Buchla music easel. And I also process my vocals. And, um, and then I also compose for orchestral instruments. And that's my background is um, composing for orchestral instruments and film scoring. And uh, and then I process some of those sounds through the music easel. That sense of melody and harmony is dealt with the first thing that sort of caught my ear. I'm going to say eye, but <laughs> ear um, when listening to your music. So is a lot of um, melodic textural work, would you say? Yeah, um, I definitely create tonal music and uh, come from that background, and and that's what moves me personally. But I also love sound design and and love combining the two and always having uh, ease and disease in balance with each other is something I'm really into. Yeah, that. Yeah, because we can definitely tell you're exploring sound at the same time as having this melodic root in to yeah. what you do. It's not just an open exploration. There's a sense of uh, arrangement and, I guess, intent beyond just sort of open sound design. Yeah, yeah, I love creating... Um, parameters and then making it a playground within those, those yeah boundaries. playgrounds are a really nice way to look at it yeah so what have you brought out on the road of you for this set of um, gigs so I've gotten obsessed with trying to make the smallest um, travel load as possible and I have the Buchla music easel which I carry on my back I finally figured out how to make it into a backpack which I'm really excited <laughs> about and then I have a few MIDI controllers that I use as extensions of the music easel. Um, I use an OP1 to do sampling of the music easel, um, just like real-time sampling and deleting, sampling and deleting. And then I have a Novation launch pad that basically controls my vocals because I've uh, had such a hard time finding any harmonizer that will do modal stuff so I've right, just okay. kind of made my own where uh, in real time I'll be playing uh, well basically it's like I have 27 live tracks of my vocals right, wow. uh, with very microtonal harmonies so uh, I'll change them with the chords with my hands and like play weird shapes on that thing to make it match it and then um, and then I have just like an X key MIDI controller, which um, it does lots of things and I'm kind of turning on and off what it's doing and like depending on how long I'm holding a note on there, it's changing what its function is yeah. and I'll change what it's doing a lot of times, yeah. How do you find breaking down? Because you have a lot of Yoro Rack, which we're fairly Yoro Rack centric in, yeah. in our output yeah. and coverage. Um, how do you find breaking down a bigger studio system to something you can actually play with internationally? Yeah. Well, I was um, fortunate to have this setup be where I, I guess I restarted with this setup because I started on a Buclo 100 system and then uh, and then I moved away from Orcas Island where I had access to that system and was without anything. I was just well, like, you wouldn't want to move that either. I know. I, I would. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Um, and so then I got the music easel and, um, and I wrote uh, Euclid and Ears with just this setup that I have. And so right, from okay. there I've been building my studio and I've just kind of kept this sectioned off as like, this is my live setup. Yeah. This is my studio setup, um, but I mean, I'll still record with the live setup. But uh, but I don't yeah, usually, yeah, I don't usually uh, take the the studio one out. Yeah. Yeah. So, will this current iteration of your live setup and the sort of core of the studio, do we think that will change as the studio's grown? Has anything stood out? Are you going to take Yoro Rack on the next tour or any yeah. keyboard synths or? 
Um, I'm still figuring it out. Um, but I think on the next tour, I will take Euro Rack with me. Okay. Um, I'm not, I'm still figuring it. It'll be a combo probably. Okay. Yeah. Do you feel... This one was so specific to ears because because uh, I wrote ears with like the the live portion of it was already figured out and basically I just pressed record and yeah. that that was how I recorded ears so uh, so this next album I did it the other way where I like did it all in the studio and then now I'm like you never how to figure am I out how it? to yeah I think it's a struggle yeah. we all have yeah. I think that the sort of Frankenstein nature of a Yaro rack system as well. Yeah. Limited space. You, know, yeah. you can't travel internationally with several, well, you could, but you maybe not, don't want to bring several cases. Yeah. Um, how do you find... Which, it's the weirdest thing to me that I never get stopped in the airport with the music easel. It, people seem I really scared. But I always get stopped with, with like, if I have, like, a hard-boiled egg or, like, something. <laughs> We it's found so weird to me. <laughs> if people seem really scared of taking modular on a plane, but plenty of friends and, and things we've covered, people do. Yeah. Um, a friend of ours, Radic, that plays at these events, just gone to New Zealand, and if, he seemed to have the time of his life with airport security. They yeah. wanted to know what it was. They wanted to hear him play know, it. They wanted so a mini concert. Serious, they were so yeah. interested. Yeah. He had a good time, <laughs> not the sort of restrictive, yeah. heavy-handed sort of thing they, they would think they'd have. I always ask if I could take a picture of the x-ray thing, but they won't let me. <laughs> he got one he on the did? way to New That's Zealand, yeah. <laughs> so he's got yeah. the x-ray of his, so his Yara rack ask system. New Zealand, okay. Yeah, New yeah. Zealand's the one for yeah. the x-ray picture for the album cover. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so rad looking. With that open nature of Yara rack against the easel being what it is, do you find it hard to pick what's going to come along? I'd say the easel's a sort of complete instrument. You're not yeah. swapping the filter out or a, oh, I'll swap out an LFO. Yeah. Or well, I, just by nature of, of how I work, I've always been someone who just looks at what my limitations are and, and creates within that. So um, a lot of times I'll just look at like what I have and be like, yeah. okay, what am I going to make with that? And uh, I don't really tend to let myself go into like, what could I get to like yeah. make this better? Uh, when I do get new stuff, it's like it's like either I saw it somewhere or um, yeah, that's good. That it, doesn't yeah. run away of itself. Yeah. As a um, modular <laughs> podcast, we created this idea of a free module challenge. I love that idea of restrictions. It's nice yeah. to hear that's what you're moving forward with with the equipment as well. Yeah, but it's literally free modules and yeah. make a patch. It's so fun. You may struggle yeah. to do an album, but <laughs> yeah. it's doable. But yeah. yeah, free modules and that's it. There's actually so much you could do with three modules. It's amazing to me how much you can do. I've actually done, um, I never released it, but uh, but I want to someday. I did a, a test or like a challenge with myself of I could only have three long sine waves. Um, and I had to figure out like how to make... 30 minutes of music that would be to me oh, that's cool. that I would want to listen to and there's so much you can do with I mean yeah yeah I like the idea of it's very different to an artist releasing an album but multiple people having that this is your core content yeah this is it or even the same <gasps> free modules TV show <laughs> yeah modular reality <laughs> TV this week we've got a maths yeah. a DPO and an Optimix go yeah. and that's all anyone can have yeah. Uh, it does force creativity though I bet the you idea that show will be popular it, you should do it <laughs> <laughs> the modular reality show yeah um, well yeah um, thanks for running us down what's going on and yeah. we really look forward to seeing the concert tonight and also after speaking seeing how this progresses yeah me too <laughs> uh, so yeah, yeah. Uh, thank you very much thanks